Um, want to quickly mention, of course, this stuff also concerning DJ Academics. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. I've obscured, I've obscured the most egregious pictures on this grid. But if you're not familiar, if you're not aware, DJ Academics got semi-cancelled or exposed by his ex-girlfriend um, who he had been in a long-term relationship with, unbeknownst to, I think, most of his fans. The same girl who he was screaming at, actually. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, DJ Academics was involved in this thing where he was screaming at this woman. Um, I'm the prize, right? Do you remember? I think it's the same woman, basically. So the same woman in this video. Uh, this one, yeah. The same woman. Oh, it's just shorts. I want to see just a normal video. It's not short. Someone give me the video. It's not short, please. Is that possible? Shorts are fucking annoying. Anyway, okay. Let's just check the short out. So this is from this vi this video. I think it happened during the time that he went to go film with um fresh and fit. He got into some sort of altercation with one of the girls that he was with. At the time, everyone thought it was just another hussy that he was hanging out with, but clearly they were in a romantic relationship and they were having some sort of lover's tiff there. I'm not too sure who the bigger girl is who was trying to basically have academics at his back, but it wasn't a good look for him at the time. It kind of looked a bit crazy, but I'll play the video so you can hear what he was saying. But the, the, the famous line is, I'm the prize. Anyway, he's screaming, he's shouting, um, he's screaming, I'm the prize. His voice is incredibly high pitched. There's a lady here with red hair who's trying to jump in and she's saying period and encouraging him and shit like a cheerleader. It's legitimately one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, honestly, so, so embarrassing for somebody that purports to be an alpha male, uh, an apex predator, flipping human being, whatever it may be, or man, to be in a situation where you're screaming and shouting at your supposed girlfriend in public like this, getting, so, I wouldn't say physical, but you're getting, you know, you you look like you're about to snap at any way, shape or form, is really unbecoming and not really something that you would maybe ascribe to a gentleman, especially not somebody who thinks themselves as to be some sort of ladies man, whatever it may be. So it really did look really bad on him in that regard. But this is made worse now because of this exposure, because that girl is the girl allegedly in these pictures who leaked with pictures i think um via academics' discord now we're finding out that academics had um um had gave her access to discord he gave her access to the youtube so she was able to change the banner on his picture and she changed it to one of the pictures here featured on his grid and in the grid i'll just describe it to you there's a picture here in the top left that looks like um i guess it was a picture of an ultrasound to show that the woman was pregnant at one point there's a picture here of some blood on a leg, it looks like, or an arm. There's a picture here again with some scratches on someone's neck. I'm assuming it's a girl. There's a picture here of a capsule of pills with um, DJ Academics' government name on there. And it's for a prescription called, or a pill called Doxycycline, which I've been told online, no, which I've Googled actually, isn't for what people think it was. It's not for herpes. It's for something else. I think it's a skin condition or something. But everyone is ascribing it to be herpes. And in the pictures that I've blocked out, in one of these in one of these um, pictures I've blocked out, or two of these pictures, one of them features a picture of the young lady allegedly in the video um, pleasuring flipping academics, as we can say. But the picture is really weird and crass because she looks like she's got a black eye. So I'm not too sure if it happened during the act, if that's what they love to do, rough play or shed it beforehand or whatever, but it looks horrible. Like, And then there's another picture also featuring academics what looks like his hand you know doing some other stuff with the young lady and you know it's not the most pleasing picture and then there's a picture also of his birth of sorry of his driving license and i guess people have been criticizing that because i think it shows his actual real date of birth so he's a lot older than what he says he is and the, and the other picture which is the last one is a picture taken from academics to surveillance a camera that shows him hanging out with another lady that isn't the lady who's obviously exposing him now all of this is hilarious because of how act talks about women number one and of course how he judges other people in their relationships you know being a streamer and a bit of a loud mouth and a an overall 
hip hop personality and whatnot. It's just kind of funny that all the stuff that he criticizes other people to do, he's kind of doing it in his own way, in you know, in his own relationship. But the funny thing, I think more so, is that he seems to have a thing for really ratchet hood girls. Like a particular type of like Latino, whatever it may be. Like he seems to have that kind of, you know, that seems to be his thing. But from what I understand, looking from the outside in, those American girls who come from that community, they are flipping sharks. They know what they're doing. They actually, you know, they're they're G's when it comes to the situation. So I've got a feeling that those girls are actually playing him. He doesn't understand it. He thinks he's getting the most out of it, but they're actually the ones playing him for whatever material goods he's able to offer them, homes, roof over their heads, flights, whatever else. But he thinks he's getting the most out of it. But I think they're getting way more out of it because they are absolute killers. So the fact that he's attracted to these girls who are kind of fleecing him um, and kind of running his pockets in a weird way is absolutely hilarious. But it also kind of speaks to the idea that with guys, with guys, right? it's really difficult i feel like to kind of make up for like the times when you grew up not being maybe the coolest maybe looked at as being a bit corny and be looked at as a bit lame i think most women can smell it off of, on a guy if a guy's got a lot of money but they didn't get a lot of girls when they were growing up and they're just kind of getting girls with money i think women can smell it probably more so than guys can smell it on other guys i think women have a better radar and the ones who are very finally a tune that's sniffing those guys out are the ones that run their pockets so i think he's been a walking lick and a walking simp in a weird way for the majority of his life even though he has money so it kind of shows you with dudes unless you really do the work internally and somewhat physically to change your appearance in some meaningful way you really are kind of limited and capped at the kind of women you can attract there's only so many like there's there's probably not enough hot girls out there that are willing to sleep with somebody that as fat and as ugly as academics, even though he's super rich. They're just never going to do it. They'd rather just, you know, sleep with the skateboarder that's got no money but looks way better sort of thing. So he's kind of in that weird situation when it comes to this. But it is incredibly embarrassing, I think, for the most part, just for him as a brand overall. Is it going to damage his flipping career? Obviously not. But it's just an embarrassing kind of L to take because she exposed him in the worst way possible um, and kind of made him out to be look a little bit grosser and a bit weirder than he is. I'm sure he could explain every single square here. I'm sure it's not that crazy. But, but, but it does make him look flipping suspect as fuck. But his inability to accept the L is also the weird thing. I saw him be on, he was, he was on stream earlier today for like five hours. Most of it speaking about everything, trying to defend himself. I think part of the comment was like, oh, I was in love. And when you're in love, you're going to be vulnerable. All this sort of nonsense stuff. Basically simp coping in general. But my whole premise of it or my whole conclusion will be in this regard. At some point, you just have to accept the L. And I think at some point, especially with academics, he's going to have to just accept he's never going to be cool. He's never going to be cool ever. Like money doesn't make you cool. And I think unfortunately for him, it's not dudes like me who don't think he's cool that matters. It's the fact that the women that he likes clearly know he's not cool. And they know that they can exploit that cool by making him feel cool by having the women on his arm, if that makes sense. So that's who he's being exploited by the most. And it got really greasy for him because if I remember correctly in that stream, he said something like, oh, one of the girls was looking to set him up or something. So he nearly, you know, could have lost his life off the back of his tendency to mess with flipping ratchet women, which is really bizarre. But, you know, I guess out there, you know, America's a big place. So I'm assuming the ratchet girls that you have over there <laughs> are probably just as attractive as some of the models. So it's probably really hard to say, hey, stop messing with flipping ratchet chicks because they're probably really, there's a probably really hot ones out there. But from what the ones I'm thinking of all look like gargoyles, but I'm sure there are some super hot ones that would, you know, tempt a lot of men out there. But I think in academic position, considering who he is, and, you know, he's maybe lack of street smarts and whatnot and experience. He probably needs to leave those girls alone. Those girls are probably way above his flipping, not even caliber, but they're just way above his level of maybe comprehension and whatnot. Um, I think so, personally. But there's not much more to add on that one, to be fair, because it's all a bit gross. And, you know, 
<coughs> who wants to be talking about gross things here? Um, what were you saying? Yeah, Ak Ak is one of the biggest L's on the internet. Yeah, for sure, Uche. Andrew said, I love when you cover Ak. Big up Andrew W. Bodybuilding You says he has horrible taste in women. Go look up the chick he used to be fire exiting fire extinguisher within his apartment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, I know he I know he actually had a relationship with Selena Powell. I think if you from time you do stuff like that, you know already, like it's mad. It's mad. But I just I don't know. I I just think it's different between men and women. I think women can upgrade themselves and actually get better de better like mates, like actual partners long term. Whereas I think that like, guys always have a cap. There's always a cap that there's there's just certain women you're never gonna be able to hit. Doesn't matter how much work you do, they're just never gonna be attracted to you. Um, I feel like women are a little bit more like, you know, bi not binary, they're a little bit more, what's it, judgmental? I don't know what the word is. But I just think for some reason, guys in that manosphere, they just have this fixation. Like the guys that follow Andrew Tate and all those kind of guys, they think if they make a lot of money, they can get any woman they want. And I don't think it's like that. I don't think women just go for money. But I think in those guys' heads, they have in their heads, oh, if I have all the money in the world, I can legitimately choose any woman to fuck it to fuck me and i don't think it works that way but you know i could be mistaken